Aren't there enough Counts and Countesses in that stack of carte de visite in the foyer? Or just the way that Nini taught you? The card from Prince Bernhard is somehow always on top, and the bell's on the bottom. You will not speak to your mother like that. I will not stand for it. I'll piss off. I got sent this um, script quite a long time ago, and um, it's just one of those very rare scripts that is immediately coherent and cohesive and um, literate and um, profound and um, many-layered and um, beautifully structured, I thought. Um, it's just very unusual to get something like that. I fall completely in love with the story and then I met Tom Kalim and I love him too. The story was chasing me all the time. I was thinking all the time about this wife, this woman uh, with this family and this history and all those things, you know. You read a lot of scripts as an actor, but it's pretty rare that you read anything with this kind of subject matter and with this much subject matter. Um, and it was initially that that attracted me to the, to the film. Tony, Jake. You might have knocked. I did. You know, I went to the airport today to pick up Sam. Who should I see but your father? We had a word or two, I can tell you that. Christine Vachon from Killer Films, you know, had said, I'm sending you the script, you really, you're gonna, you, you're gonna have to do it. You honestly, you know, you're gonna be so compelled by it. And I still can remember, like I said, I still can remember where I was sitting when I read it. I hadn't read anything like it ever. It was, it was so um, alarming and, and moving. Um, different than anything I had seen. And the fact that it was based on a true story <laughs> made, it, made it even more compelling to me, I think. My original idea was, if the story could be told in five days, what would the five days be? So we worked separately, came back, and interestingly, many of the days that we chose were the same days. We, of course, chose the day of the murder. We chose a day in the beginning of the um, film where you would see Julianne with her young baby and the sort of loving relationship she had with him, but also to sense the kind of rumbling in the marriage and the tensions in the marriage. And that's really the starting point, was identifying what were the key turning points in the narrative, in the story, and allowing the audience to fill in the gap between those stories so that you would see Julianne in 1946 as a young woman just married and then boom, the next thing you'd see would be 1959 in Paris, she has an 11 year old child. And that there was a strength, I think, in terms of, especially in a modestly budgeted film shot with limited means, it's a real way to embrace those limitations. And also I think a kind of fresher way to try to tell an epic narrative rather than, I mean, if I had had the resources to do Lawrence of Arabia slash Savage Grace, fantastic, it would have been wonderful, but we didn't. So I think the kind of minimalist approach, a very small-scaled approach, was appropriate for the movie.